Howdy from Arlington, Texas, y'all. I hope you are healthy and well. Um, it's been a couple weeks. Um, it's not that I don't have anything, because I have a lot of ideas of things I want to do, but, man, I just haven't felt myself the last couple of weeks. Uh, just, you know, everything seems to be kind of getting to me. Um, needed to clear off some room on my computer so I could make videos. Just didn't want to do anything. I, I've really, I haven't been watching as much YouTube. Uh, I haven't been on Twitter that much, which is usually where you can find me, uh, social media wise. Uh, you know, very little Facebook. I mean, I'm very minimal there anyway, but I've been even less. But, um, you know, thought maybe I uh, had a little time this evening uh, to myself, and I figured uh, maybe I'd go ahead and uh, make a quick little mail day video. Hope everyone else is. Uh, doing well and handling this um, it's strange strange times we're in so it is a mail call Monday I'm kind of changing the name instead of mail day just kind of change it up mail call I think somebody else used that and whoever it is I stole it from you if I can remember I'll give you the credit down the road so not buying much right now you know I'm just being you know being fiscally responsible you know, I've seen a lot of action on Twitter, or a, a lot relative to how much I'm on there. And I've heard, you know, heard it said on some other channels or whatever, you know, what they're planning on doing with spending their spent uh, their stimulus check on. And I, I, I ain't spending it on cards, man, because I don't I don't know what's going to happen over the next couple months. I need to, you know, need to add that to my buffer a little bit. So. So you're gonna see here a couple of these are actually giveaway wins so that even shows you how much less uh, you know I don't have a whole lot to show but less of it that I'm gonna show has even been purchased so this first card was a giveaway win from the uh, go GTS live show I will link to them below to their channel they go uh, every Thursday night a live program it's an hour or two I mean, obviously exceptions Thanksgiving and then you know every once in a while just things don't happen they don't have a show during the national so it's real simple on there you go you watch you watch the show and you retweet their tweets and they pick winners and over the last three or four years however long it's been going this is the third time of one this one doesn't really fit into my collection but man it's a nice looking card so it's a uh, 1920 this came out you know upper decks you know the companies send them product and they open them on the show and they give away most of the most of the nicer pulls and this is an spx rookies signature autograph i think it's just it's technically a base card i believe i don't know a ton about the product um just not that into hockey anymore of mario ferraro focus focus there we go so yeah, I'm not that into hockey anymore. Sharks aren't my team, but man, it's just a good looking card. His signature looks nice. I am a guy that loves anything in kind of that teal, aqua, blue, ice blue color, and this kind of fits right in there. It's just a good looking card. And when they shipped it to me, they shipped it to me in this black bordered, I believe these are by Ultra Pro. Yep, you can see right there, Ultra Pro, dun da da dun. Uh, the Ultra Pro Black Border mags, which I like. Now, granted, most of my collection is moving into uh, semi-rigids, but man, if I'm gonna do if I'm gonna do mags, I love these. Uh, I guess these are Ultra Pro tuxedos, right? Right? What do you say? All right. So anyway, probably gonna end up going ahead and keeping that just because it is. It's just a nice looking car. You know, you just look at it. It, it looks nice. What else can I say? So. The second was a win from a YouTuber, Burke Knowledge. I will put his, I'll put a link to his channel below. Uh, he did a giveaway, and he was giving away something, and Scotty, around your boy, sent him another, a little, a little care package to give away as his, I believe it was 100 subscriber contest. I was chosen as one of the winners, and... 
he was kind enough. He actually, I emailed him and he asked me, hey, who else do you collect? I, I, like I said, I haven't really been feeling myself, so I really didn't see the email for a few days and he'd already shipped. But he did, I, he did go through my channel and he was kind enough to see some of the things I collect and he sent me this Will Greer in addition. Um, I've been pretty selective on what I buy from Will Greer, but I've definitely uh, gotten a lot of you know random acts of kindness from people and I'm going to hold on to all those will we'll see if he pans out or not but you know hail west virginia and this was actually my win so donners zion williamson rookie so this will get put in a semi rigid with a label that i won from him so i just want to say thank you sir and y'all should go uh Go check out his channel, see if you like what he's doing, and hopefully you will give him a subscription and all the likes and all the comments. So thanks again, amigo. I appreciate it. All right. Ooh, man, you can see my reflection there. I'm sorry. So let's go on to the purchases. I've only got two to show because, like I said, not, not really buying much. So... That picked up a three card lot from Tobacco Row. Uh, it was from a particular seller that I've bought off of multiple times. So this, I didn't even pay a ton of attention because the final card I show you is the one that I bought the lot for. So here you can see this. What this is, is a T37 turkey red card, but it has been trimmed. You know what? It's cool looking anyway. I, I like it without the border. I have a I have a 52 tops that somebody gave me at a card show. Um, just gave me. I think it's the Andy Pafco number one card, but it had been trim the borders had been trimmed off, and man, it's beautiful. And it's kind of same thing here. I kind of like it. So, see on the back, you can see if you've seen some of my other videos about turkey reds, or I don't even know if I've shown them on Twitter, or if I have tweeted it out or whatever. But right here. If it'll ever come into focus so I think the focus thing I think it's because of my background I may have to just get rid of that you know where my where you can find me let's try it one more time okay anyway it says packer number you know and then there's a number that's what that stamp is and a lot of these cards have had those um, someday I will do some research and see if I can find anything out so this is another card from the T37 set so this is really what they should look like again you know good looking with the borders really nice without the borders in my in my opinion so the Acme Racer is the uh, unbordered one and the bordered one is a Renault very cool got a I've been working on my personal collection a little bit lately, and like I said, putting everything into semi-rigids. It's time to go through my T37s and see where I am in this 50-card set. I'm not 100% sure where I am, but this is what I bought it for. It's not a T37, but it's a T36, and you've seen these. You saw this in one of my recent videos about a trade. So, 1911. T36 auto drivers. It's just not going to come into focus. Sorry, guys. I got to do something about that background. I meant to check. Actually, I could check because I got it here on my computer. Oh, but I haven't pulled up. Have I pulled up Safari? Let me see if I need this one here real quick. Dun dun dun. So, if you can see there, I don't know if it's come into focus yet. Uh oh. So, this is a new one to my collection. Awesome. So, has it come into focus yet? There you go. Louis, or Louis, I believe it was Louis, how you actually said it. Come on. Come on. I know this is an intriguing YouTube video. I suck, guys. Sorry about that. So anyway, Louis Chevrolet. These cards were produced in late March of 1911. Does that last name sound familiar? Well, it should. And later that year, with his brother, he co-founded 
Chevrolet Motor Company. So at this time, he was racing, as you can see. He had not he did not run the inaugural Indianapolis 500 in 1911, but he did run, I believe it was five times. It was either four or five, but I believe it was five times starting in 1916, I believe. His next to last race, I can't remember what year it was, was his best finish, and he finished seventh. Um, but yes, yeah, so that is a new one to my collection. So I have the entire, it's a 25 card front run set, but like the T206s, they have different backs. It's different than T206s in that every card has the same four backs. I have, I had before this, I had two of the Louis Chevrolets, and now I have a third, which puts me at 59 of the 100 card master set. Awesome. So the final one is another, uh, I don't know if anybody really knows I do this because I don't think I've really talked about this, but I'm still passive in my collection of these, but uh, a friend of mine let me know that the this was online, this was on uh, eBay at a good price. He said, you might want to go snatch this, and I definitely had wanted to get this autograph before, before she leaves us. Judy Dench, M., from James Bond. Very passively acquiring some of these uh, some of these James Bond autographs. And if you don't know Judy Dench is M in Skyfall, this is actually the one where she is killed. But Dame Judy Dench. Really excited to add that to my collection of the Bond autographs I do have. She's definitely the the biggest name. Um, oh yeah, I guess some of y'all do know if you've watched recent videos because I did other buy some uh, other 007 autographs recently and showed them on a mail day. So anyway, I rambled for too long. Sorry, this ended up being 12 minutes. Um, it'll be 13 by the time I finally shut my mouth. Apologies for the long video. Should have been shorter, but what are you gonna do? I suck. Anyway. Hope everyone has a great, uh, great rest of their Monday. I hope you all have a great week. I uh, don't know when I'll be back with another video. Um, hopefully I'll be getting back to feeling myself soon or feeling like myself soon. Anyway, hope everyone has a great Monday evening. Happy collecting, y'all.